Bonjour, vous êtes le bienvenu sur Today. Voici le rapport de sport en INCA. Today marks 100 days until the FIFA Women's Soccer World Cup as South Africa, who are the champions of Africa, go with the hopes of the continent to Australia and New Zealand this July. Coach Desiree Ellis and co are in Serbia for a friendly match, having lost 3-2 to the host. While well, joining me to mark this auspicious occasion is a former Banyana Banyana player, Pinky Majekane. Good afternoon, Pinky. Lovely to be talking to you about football today. First things first, what did you make of Banyana Banyana's 3-2 loss to Serbia in the international friendly and is it a fair reflection of what is to come this year? Uh, thank you so much uh, for giving me this opportunity to be here. Uh, I think with, uh, with uh, the friendly that they just had with Serbia and we just lost against Serbia, a team that is not really a footballing nation. So I'm thinking this should be, you know, it should tell us a lot about where we stand prior to us being at the World Cup. All right, as African champions, is there more pressure for Banyana Banyana to perform above the expectations of being champions of Africa? Obviously, yes, definitely. I mean, uh, if you win, if you win the, the uh, African champion, most people are going to be looking at you and there's so much expectations from South Africans as a whole and, and Africa as a continent as a whole. So the pressure is on and I think um, I think they're feeling it as well. And I think something must be done urgently for us to relieve the stress and also to prepare for uh, mentally and physically for, for the tournament ahead. I mean, after the men's Moroccan team reached the semi-finals of the Qatar World Cup last year for the very first time as an African team, that gave hope to African football supporters, um, you know, of Africa winning the World Cup. Can Banyana Banyana be motivated by that milestone and make history, or is that too ambitious? Listen, anything is possible, but we have to be honest with ourselves. You know, uh, I know with the men's... Uh, uh, the, the the team the african teams were doing very well but need that needs a prior and a proper proper preparations but i think listen with the group that we are in i was looking at uh you know sweden is what you know being one of the team uh country which is on the you know on the map but uh argentina and italy i think we we, we stand a good chance to actually you know do well in those uh, two teams all right, so the tournament which will take place in five Australian and four New Zealand cities has been expanded from 24 to 32 teams for the first time. I know that's going to be the case for the Men's uh, World Cup in 2026, but does this suggest Africa's chances, um, you know, are going to be better than previous editions at this World Cup? Listen, adding a number to to the World Cup doesn't necessarily mean you know Africa will actually stand a chance to win the World Cup. It it we need to to prepare. We need to have uh, proper structures. We need to have uh, development straight. We need to have our federation you know in line for us to actually win the the World Cup. So it's not going to be easy. And adding more teams, it doesn't mean like I said, it doesn't mean that we will win the World Cup. It takes everything that I just spoken about, you know, the preparation, pumping money in, in football and having the right people to be sitting in the right chairs to do the right things. All right, so looking at the African nation, South Africa caused the upset against Morocco in the final, dumped out Nigeria, but had a bit of a hiccup against Zambia. What is the strategy to counter the African compatriots at the FIFA World Cup, or is that not the focus coming into Australia for Banyana Banyana? Look, uh, the focus is we must not worry about uh you know like other teams like argentina and and sweden and how they obviously that's something that we need to put in mind but what we need to focus on is how we play as many as as many uh, uh game uh, friendlies we're gonna be playing just to prepare us uh prior to the to the world cup so i think uh playing with Serbia that has hasn't you know qualified for for the World Cup or, or for African national you know, tournament? It doesn't really really help us to prepare for for the World Cup. I think we should be playing against teams that are qualified already, so we can know their strength. So we can even uh, the, the crowd where we play it should be something that we should be you know uh, taking into consideration. Thank you very much for your time, Pinky Majekane, former Banyana Banyana player on the 100-day countdown to the FIFA Women's Soccer World Cup taking place in Australia and New Zealand. Merci beaucoup, Braden.